In this video, I'm going to show you how to quote Azure for three common use cases that MSPs deploy for their customers. Infrastructure as a service, desktop as a service, and IT as a service. Many MSPs are hesitant to move their customers to Azure because they don't feel confident in their ability to properly size and price Azure environments before deploying them. This makes the Azure quoting process complicated and risky. There's always the option of using Microsoft's Azure pricing calculator, but in order to do so properly, you pretty much need a PhD in Azure architecture. I'm going to show you how to create accurate Azure quotes so you can feel comfortable putting in front of your customer. My name is Vadim Vladimirsky, and I'm the CEO of Nerdio. And if you're an MSP looking to build or grow your Azure practice, then this is the channel for you. To accurately price an Azure-based IT solution, you need a tool that can walk you through all the relevant options, help you make the proper selections, and then provide you with a cost breakdown. We've built a Nerdio cost estimator to do just that. It's a wizard-based tool that lets you select a deployment scenario or use case, go through the relevant options for each deployment scenario, and then produce an architecture in Azure of the environment along with all the associated costs that are then rolled into a single per user per month cost to which you can add your margin and put into a proposal to put in front of your customer. Let's see how this works. So the first step is going to be selecting from one of three use cases. You can be deploying infrastructure as a service if you're going to be putting only server virtual machines into Azure. You can be deploying desktop as a service, which is a common deployment scenario for simple virtual desktop deployments or virtualized applications like QuickBooks. Or you can be deploying an IT as a service environment, which is a complete IT infrastructure that includes both servers and desktops for your customer's environment. Once you've made that selection, you're going to be prompted for the number of users in the environment if you've selected a use case that includes virtual desktops and also the type of desktop virtualization technology you're going to use, either RDS or WVD, along with a selection for how many users are going to be assigned to persistent dedicated desktop VMs versus using pooled desktops. Once you've filled out the desktop section, you're going to go down into the server section and add any servers that you may be deploying as part of this environment for applications and databases. All you have to do is specify the amount of CPU, RAM, and the amount of storage for each server, and the tool will calculate the rest for you. Moving down to the next section, you're going to select the type of licensing, Microsoft licensing, that you want to include in this particular assessment. Uh, if you want to include Office 365 or Windows 10, this is the section where you're going to make those selections. Finally, you're going to go through a set of cost assumptions to really fine tune the pricing of this environment. Here you can make choices around reserved instances, whether or not you're going to be using backup or DR, whether or not you're going to have site-to-site -site VPN, uh, whether or not you're going to have on-ramp regions or use hybrid Active Directory, and many other options that you can select from and just add them to the quote. If you're a CSP, here you'll also have the option to type in your actual discounts that you get on Microsoft services, so you can get the most accurate quote possible. When you're done, you're going to click on View Costs, and what you'll see on the next screen is going to be a complete Azure architecture with all of the server VMs and storage that's going to be necessary to deploy this environment and a breakdown of the costs for each and every component of the system. And then if you look at the top, you'll see that it all rolls up into a single per user per month if you're doing a virtual desktop deployment or just a fixed per month cost if you're doing just an infrastructure as a service deployment. If there are any changes that you need to make or make any tweaks, you can simply click the back button and then make any necessary changes and see the costs change in real time. So with just a few steps in a few minutes, you're able to produce an accurate Azure price or Azure cost quote, which you can then use to add your margin to it, put it into your proposal and quote Azure based IT solutions to your customers. Be sure to click on the link below the video to take a look at the Nerdio cost estimator yourself 
and use it on your own customer's desktop deployment scenario.